What's up everybody, it's me King Alpha, I hope everybody's doing great, it seems like the merchant just came up, so um, I'll handle that later after the video, um, so anyways, we're going to be talking about Richard, I almost have him expertise, everybody knows, if, you, if you've known about me, I've always loved Richard as a hero, he's my favorite hero in the game, and <clears throat> I almost have him expertise, like, this is insane, he's going to become my main hero after I get him to like level 60 and all that, but um, I do have some uh, blue material right here, I mean equipment, so I can't wait to put it on him and everything. But I have him at 5553, and I'm really close to getting him his skills to level 4, and then we're only going to be one skill away, which is just 80 sculptures after that. I'm freaking excited because of the fact that like I'm actually going to have a hero that, you know, Everybody needs to get expertise, expertise, and it's going to feel amazing. Um, so I figured, why not talk about him for a little bit? Why not actually do the best, um, you know, the best guide for him and what I'm going to be doing on him? And I just want to say, it's kind of going to be a replica of exactly what I have on Charles, but, you know, you kind of still need to do it for Richard because now everybody uses Charles and et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, coming over here. So we're going to go over his skills real fast, and then we're going to go into his talents. Um, so skills. His first skill is his healing skill. Um, so basically, this heals uh, troops for up to 1,400 when you get it to level 5. You get a damage reduction of 30% when you get it to level 5, and a march speed reduction of 15% in a fan-shaped. It's a fan-shaped thing, and it's pretty cool. It's actually really nice if uh, multiple enemies are actually attacking you um, from the front side. Obviously, if they start hitting you from the side or from the back, you're going to be fucked. Um, regardless, coming over here, Chivalry uh, increases your troop uh, reduction, which is really good, which is troop damage reduction by 15% and cancel attack damage by 15, by 10%. Sorry. And that's honestly awesome. You're reducing damage and you're reducing counter attack. I mean, you're having a uh, counter attack bonus. So that's just awesome. It, it combines really well with Richard or even Scipio or, Char or Sun Tzu, etc. Um, going over here, increases the attack of infantry by 15% and increases the defense of infantry by 15%, which is really good. You pair that with another infantry hero, you get a bunch of bonuses that will help you out a lot on the battle, on the you know field. Um, come over here, Battle Hardened. Passive skill increases healing effects received by 20% for right now. It actually goes up to 30 when I get it to fully done. And then uh, it reduces watchtower damage taken by troops uh, by 20% 20, 20 which goes up to 30% as well. So this is really good for example if you're attacking a city as well because you're reducing the damage taken from watchtowers which if it's a high level watchtower it is very crucial that you reduce the amount of damage taken by that watchtower. Um, but then again I wouldn't suggest using Richard you would probably use a conquering hero or something like that. Last skill Reduces all damage taken by 5% and increases damage to cavalry units by 5% by, uh, sorry, to cavalry units by infantry units by 2%, which is amazing. So you're already reducing damage taken and you're increasing damage to cavalry. In addition, every 10 seconds decreases targets march speed by 50% by f for 5 seconds. This is kind of good, like this last bit is kind of good, but it's not all that for me. <coughs> Sorry, I have um I'm still coughing and everything, I'm still sick. <laughs> Going into his actual talent tree, come over here. You do want to still go full infantry. Um I would only go garrison, like let's say if you know your city is about to get attacked and everything, then you change to to garrison and defense and all that, but that you're mainly gonna be attacking on the field, on in everything. So it's it's very dependent on what you're going to be doing but this is the best setup for richard when it comes to he's level 50 but i'll sh I'll tell you what i'm going to do so when i'm just going to use my last little uh skill talents for when i get him to 60. so obviously you want to get all of this all of the infantry you want to go up full infantry that is the most important thing when it comes to an infantry hero cav is very different cav and cav heroes and infantry heroes are so different and i hope people understand that that you don't always go full cav and all that stuff, I've learned that from my mistakes. Um, additionally, so come over here, you go down this way. You want to get the attack, counter attack damage. You need to count get that counter attack damage that goes with his second skill. Um, additionally, you get reducing damage over here and reducing skill damage over here as well. 
now in regards to the last 10 talents um you got two over here i'm gonna be getting uh extra one percent attack you're gonna come over here you're gonna get 1.5 extra health which is really good you're gonna come over here you're gonna after using a skill heals a portion of slightly wounded units i told you in my charles video that medical uh medicinal supplies are so important because every time you use a skill and every time it pops you're actually getting less wounded that is super important so you come over here after i get those three skills into here you only get two talents after that and they go into here but that's really about it guys um you know i'll tell you exactly who to pair them with but that's the best setup for the talent tree i can't you can't really go <coughs> sorry can't really go any um anywhere else you can only go to garrison if you're actually going to be defending like your city um i don't believe garrison actually works for like uh what is it it's a flag like they don't work for flags so that really doesn't matter you come over here you can pair him obviously with charles now i've seen this pair a lot and it's really good is the charles and sons i mean the richard and the sun Tzu combo this is really good for people that are, have an expertise uh richard and an expertise sun Tzu. you can do a lot of damage you can dish out a lot of damage especially against low players that they try and swarm your richard and your and your sun Tzu. it's going to be perfect because you're going to be hitting multiple units and everything um additionally you can compare you compare richard with uh luigi i was doing that previously i think one of the best pairs is richard and alexander once you actually have an Alexander expertise, I'm not sure if I would pair Richard and Alexander right now because I have Richard, I mean Alexander at 5111, so kind of doesn't help. And definitely, I would stay away from this. <coughs> Ooh, never, never uh, compare Richard and Constantine together. The extra health bonus is amazing, but this last bit actually reduces the healing after you use the skill so richard is all about healing constantine counteracts healing after you use it it's not that good um and that's really about it i think the best combo for sure is richard and alexander and richard and charles but if you can also pair richard and sun Tzu, if you don't have these other ones expertise or even leveled up then do it um and that's really about it. It's, uh, you know, uh, Richard is an amazing hero. He's one of the best infantry heroes in the game. And, you know, why not focus on him when he's a universal type, uh, universal type hero? So if you don't have him, it sucks for you. But, you know, honestly, if you ever get a wheel that you can get him in, definitely get him. He is worth it. He will help out infantry so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a good one.